Hello everybody, how are you doing? I just wanted to take a minute to kind of give you an update and pass along some information. I've got four topics here. I'm gonna start off by talking about my missing Friday video, what happened, where it is, and how you can, how you can see that video. I then wanna talk about some of the upcoming pin shows uh, and pass along a little information so you guys can take a look at them and see if there's something in your area you might be able to go to. Uh, then I'd like to talk a little bit about a blank sale. Uh, I'm going to have a clearance blank sale. I've got a bunch of blanks that I had in a previous sale. Uh, I did not sell them. I'm not going to turn them. There's too many, far too many for me to turn. So I'm going to reduce the prices and offer them up if people are interested. If you are not interested, let me know and I won't bother putting that uh, putting that sale together because it does take quite a bit of time. But if you are interested, uh, there'll be some pretty decently reduced prices, uh, probably in the neighborhood of about 30%, and uh, you know, I'll offer those up to anyone who's interested. Um, finally, I would like to do a pen auction. I have some video pens. The pens that I make in the videos, one of two things happen, well, one of three things happens to them. They either get given away, uh, my wife will have uh, a Christmas party and she'll come get a pen and give it away to somebody, or they get disassembled, which you've seen me do in multiple videos and reassembled into new pens. Or finally, they just get put in a case and they get stored in the house and they just sit there for years and years. Uh, so I thought about um, offering those pens up, a couple of them up for auction, if there is an interest. I've been dropping videos for you guys every Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time for the last several months, and I have videos scheduled through the first week in March. So you're gonna have a video every Friday from now until March, and anything I create will just get uh, added to the schedule post-March. Um, this Friday, you may not have noticed a video from me in your feed. I want you to know that a video was released Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time, and it disappeared. And let me tell you exactly what happened. It really didn't disappear, it's there. But let me tell you what happened. When I was uploading the video, you have a choice of choosing private, public, or scheduled. And normally I choose scheduled and then I pick a date and I add the time, 8 a.m., and I schedule it. I accidentally hit publish, saved the, uh, the upload, so the video is uploading and it hits me, oh shoot, if I, if I publish that, it's gonna go out as soon as the upload finishes. So I immediately hit edit and I went in and I changed public to scheduled and I put in uh, January 6th, 8 a.m. and I saved it. What I failed to realize is once you hit publish, that video has a published date. It was the 19th of December when I uploaded that video. So if you go back in your YouTube feed till around the time, because the YouTube feed is in chronological order, to about the time of December uh, 19th, you're going to see my video. This has really been depressing for me because I have less than 200 views on this video. And I think it's one you guys will like. The uh, pen that I made, the starboard pen kit with the Masseur Birch blank where the blank split. In this video, I go back and I remake that blank. I disassemble the body of the pen and I reassemble it and make a gorgeous uh, body for this pen. And I really would love to share that with all of you. And I have it's just gotten buried in your feed because if you're like me, you subscribe to I don't know how many other uh, YouTubers, and uh, it, since it's in date order, it just gets buried super quick. So what I'm going to do is in the description to this video, I'm going to put the link to Friday's video. I would love it if you like to watch my videos. I would love it if you would go out, watch that video, enjoy it maybe like it, maybe comment on it, and help me get it out there because since it's having so few views, YouTube's not pushing it. So you, my normal viewers, when you like a video and you comment on a video, it pushes it out to people who are not normal viewers. Well, those people aren't seeing it. And they're a huge part of my audience because they, they give me a large number of views that from people who don't normally subscribe. So I really need your help on that. If you would, would not mind, it will be in the description of this video. And thank you so much for doing that. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now and talk to you about six upcoming shows that I am aware of. Uh, five of them are pen turning shows. One of them is a woodworking or wood turning symposium, but I'm going to pass it all along to you in hopes that there is one 
at least near enough to you to where you would consider going because I, I think that you would have a great time. I don't think you would uh, regret it. And it just, it's really going to be an experience that I think uh, if, you're, if you're a Turner, you need to hang out with other Turners. Until you have, you just don't realize how valuable these shows are. But let me share some of these dates now. I do want you to know I'm going to put this list down in the description of this video. And once I get exact dates for the shows that are up in the air right now, um, I will go back and edit them and I'll put the dates in this video. First up, we have the Mid-Atlantic Pin Turners Gathering. That is in Virginia. And that is on March 31st through April 2nd. Now, I wanted to go to this show this year, but I'm not going to make it. Uh, unfortunately, my schedule is just not going to work out for MAP. But if you're near the Virginia area, I want you to look this show up and see if it might fit in your schedule. I'll include a link to the website in the comments below. We have the Midwest Pin Turners Gathering in Chicago on April 21st and 22nd. I've already registered for this show. I've already reserved my hotel and I am going to be there. So if you are anywhere near the Chicago area or they have a great big airport there, O'Hare is fantastic. If you can find a decently priced flight into O'Hare, maybe you wanna consider coming to the show. Uh, I'd love to meet you, shake your hand. There's gonna be some fantastic demonstrations at this show. I'm sure the sales floor is gonna be just mind numbing with all of the options for Turners that they're gonna have. And I'm excited about just being there, meeting everyone, shopping the sales floor, making new friends, and just really having a great time. So consider uh, consider this show. Somewhere around the second week of June will be the Music City Pin Turners Gathering. Now, I've never been to the show. It is in Nashville, Tennessee. I am going to go this year. Come heck or high water, I'm gonna find a way to make this show. Uh, it is only a few hours from me, maybe two, and I'm, I don't right now have anything conflicting on my schedule that would not allow me to go. Uh, so I am super excited about a show so close to my home base. So if you're anywhere near Nashville, take a look at uh, the Music City Pin Turners Gathering. Coming up in July, we have the SoCal Turners Gathering. Now, I won't be able to make this one. It is in California. That's quite a distance away. Uh, even with a flight in, I just don't think I can pull this one off this year uh, because I'm going to try to go to three shows. And, uh, you know, I, I don't use money from the family budget for these shows. If I don't make money in the shop, I don't get to go to the show. So this one is just a little bit out of my, my budget right now. I'm hoping at some point in the future to be able to hit the SoCal show because I've never been to California. Uh, I think there's a lot of great people out there. Uh, I know Zach Higgins in the past has been at the show. Uh, there's just a lot of great turners. Now, this one is not a pin turners gathering. They got a lot of stuff geared toward pin turners, but this one is a, a woodworking show, right? Or a wood turning show. So you're going to see stuff beyond just pins. So this might be kind of neat to open up your mind, kind of expand your mind a little bit and uh, let you see some, uh, some items and some demonstrations that uh, might really appeal to you. So if you're anywhere near California, check out the SoCal Turner's Gathering. Right around the last week of August, you're gonna have SWAT down in Waco, Texas. This is an incredible show. It is not a pin turning show. It will, have, it will have vendors there who sell pin turning supplies. They'll have a room, the Alamo Turners usually sponsor it, uh, where they'll do pin turning and they'll have demos for pin turning but they have amazing demos of just, it's mind blowing what you'll see there. The vendors that come there, this is a huge, huge wood turning show in Waco, Texas. So if you are anywhere near Waco, Texas, I highly recommend this show. It is insane. You will love it. And finally, I'd like to mention one of the last shows of the season, which happens mid-September. That's the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering. And I, Hecker High Water want to make this show too. This is this is I'm calling this my home show, even though it's about six hours away. Uh, I love the show. I go to it every year that I can, and I do plan to be there this year. I'm super excited about the show. 
Uh, I have been asked to be on the committee to get prizes donated to the show. So if any of you know of, of companies or work for companies that are in the wood turning, uh, woodworking arena or any other arena that might be able to apply uh, and think you might be able to get something donated or would like to help me get some donations, please contact me and let me know because uh, I'd like to help and get some really amazing stuff uh, to be given away as door prices. So that sums it up for the six shows that I have. I'll be going to three of them. Uh, that's my goal this year, if I can put the money together. Uh, but uh, I, I think, take a look at your account, take a look at the description first, get the info on the shows, go look at the website, see if any of them fit into your schedule and your budget, and please do what you can to get to at least one show. It will change your perspective on wood turning. I did mention that in order for me to go to the wood turning shows, uh, I don't use money from the family budget. It has to come from the shop. That's what my next two items are going to be about. Um, I had some blank sales in 2022, and uh, they were very successful. A lot of people bought blanks from me. Thank you so much to everyone who purchased a blank. I truly appreciate it. Uh, it just means the world to me when someone looks at something I do and thinks, hey, I'd like to have that blank. I'd like to turn that blank and make my own creation, my own pen out of it. And it just, I don't know, there's something about it. Maybe I'm sappy, who knows, but uh, it really does mean quite a lot to me. I have a number of, I made a large number of blanks and I sold over half of them, but I still have quite a few blanks left and I, I'm not gonna turn those blanks. It's way too many blanks, right? And I have so many others that I can turn, so I wanna offer those blanks up for sale. And what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put together a video. If you're interested, if, if you're not interested, please tell me. Um, I'll put I'll put a YouTube vote out there to see who's interested and who's not. And if the nots outweigh the R's, uh, I probably will not post the video. Maybe I'll put it on what you're doing. But if you're interested in buying some of the blanks that I've made, uh, I normally sell them for $15 a blank. Uh, I will be selling them for $10 a blank. So I'm knocking roughly 33% off the price of the blanks. Um, it's going to be U.S. only because, unfortunately, my good friends overseas... Shipping is just ridiculous. It would be $20 to ship a blank to you, one blank. Um, but U.S., continental U.S., uh, I'm going to offer, I'm going to sell for the continental U.S., and I'm going to offer shipping for $5, period. You buy one blank, $5. You buy 20 blanks, $5. I'm not going to charge you any more. It is a flat fee of $25. Um, I will post a video of all of the blanks. In the description to that video will be a list that tells you if it's available or sold. So when you look at a blank, it'll have a number. You can jump into the description. If it's available, you can send me an email and all that will be in the video and uh, we will arrange for you to purchase that blank. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, I'm excited to do this. And uh, like I said, it's gonna let me raise a little bit of money to bank so that I can pay for a hotel and travel and hopefully a little bit for the sales floor because I like to spread a little money around when I'm down there and pick up some really cool stuff. So keep your eyes open for that. And another item that I'll go ahead and post a YouTube survey on this. It's kind of neat now I can do this. I just figured it out. But uh, if I go on my laptop, I can make a post uh, that has a survey. I'm sure you've all seen them. And uh, I'll send a survey out about the blank sale and about the auction to see if you want it on this channel or not. But uh, with the auction, what I will do is I have some video pins that you've seen me make in videos. And I'll also reference the video that it came from. Uh, and I'll, I'll do a silent auction. I'll just post the pin for a couple of days uh, and there'll be a minimum bid to get in. And I don't know what that'll be, but uh, you can then make a silent bid by sending me an email. And I do it this way because I have the email and the email has a date and timestamp. So if two bids come in on the same day, and they're for the same amount of money, I can look down and see which one came in first and make sure that I, everything is as above board and honest as possible with the bidding. So that's coming up and you'll see, you'll see a survey on that. So let me know. And like I said, if, if you're not interested here, I'll just post it on my smaller channel, but I have a wider audience here. And I think there's a lot of people who would be interested uh, who don't follow me on what you're doing, Bob. So and that's something else. Let me let me let me do a fifth thing here, okay? For those of you who've been following for a while, you probably know that I do have a second YouTube channel. It is called What You Doing, Bob, and I'm going to put a link in the comments below. Um, I usually do shop updates on that channel. I also do other things like 
Yesterday, I went metal detecting and I shot a little video while I was detecting and I posted a detecting video. It is exactly what it says it is. What you doing, Bob? I'm telling you what I'm doing. Some people really like the behind the scenes aspect of it. Um, I do a lot of updates as I'm working on pins and projects. And uh, I think you might enjoy the channel and enjoy viewing some of those shop updates. So consider going over, watching a few videos. And if you like it, subscribe, hang out with me. We have a good time over there. And lastly, before I let you go, I wanna talk about Patreon. Uh, I have reestablished my Patreon, uh, but I changed it all around. There are no more tiers. There's one tier now, and that tier is support the channel. And I ask $1 for channel support. There are many people who have who are willing to pay a little bit more, so they've made it $2 or $3 or even a couple at $5, and you are welcome to do that if you like, but I ask $1 to be a member of the channel, and it, it's just to support what I'm doing here, and everything that I make from that will go back into going to shows, buying supplies for the shop, and that's what I use it for to keep these videos coming to you. What you get for that uh, $1 support the channel is when I'm in the shop working, I do the what you do and Bob, but I've been doing lens clips and posting those to everyone um, so that they can they can get a little more behind the scenes. I try to take take a little short 15 second videos of things that I don't post on what you do and Bob. So you get a little bit more if you're really into that. Uh, those those lens videos are like a story on Instagram or on YouTube. They're out there for 24 hours. And once you watch them, they disappear. And after 24 hours, even if you don't watch them, they disappear. But there's something I do for fun. And then I'll put I'll put little notes out there, occasionally updates on things. Um, just try to keep the patrons. You'll get the information a little bit before everybody else because with everybody else, I have to update them. I have to build a video. I have to upload the video. I have to post the video and all that kind of stuff. You're going to get it much quicker. So if you're interested, I greatly appreciate the support. It is only $1 a month unless you feel the need to donate a little more. Uh, I thank you for, for any support that you can give the channel. And uh, I thank you for watching this video. If you watched all the way through to the end, God bless you. Because <laughs> I know it's kind of boring. But I do want to leave you with, with one thing. You are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great day.